Good morning guys and happy Sunday to all of your sunshiny faces. I have got my jewel and Aldi haul for you guys. Um, everything but it looks like one coupon for 75 cents at Jewel did not work. Um, but all the sales and everything like that ended up coming up at the right price and everything. So, um, but it was weird. I think I wrote down something special or I think it was had to be a special kind of this peanut butter I was going to get with the coupon. And I think, like I said, I ended up picking up the wrong kind possibly. Um, because I thought, you know what, I think it was the natural kind of peanut butter, maybe. And I, I didn't even let my dad read it first off the list or anything. I just went and picked it up because I was like, oh yeah, and peanut butter too, like when we were in the aisle. Um, and so I think that was my bad because he had the list. Um, and so I didn't even like double check with the list. I think that was what it was. And I got the regular kind and not that. So I think that was why that didn't end up working out. But it was still the same sale price. I just, like I said, didn't have that, um, the coupon for it didn't come off. Um, but anyways, yeah, all the coupons and sales and everything like that came up. One other item I wasn't able to find, which was the same as last week, the organic baby carrots. But, um, yeah, so I just moved on with that. Um, but I'll share with you guys everything I ended up picking up. So all of these items on this side of the table, um, up to the Doritos would have been, um, $139.25. I paid a $48.56 and saved $90.69. Like I said, possibly a difference of 75 cents but had I gotten the right kind of peanut butter but no big deal um again it wasn't that big of a deal like last week again it was like five dollars with those apple coupons that didn't come off but like I said I think this week was my bad I believe that was what it was <clears throat> So anyways, um, the, I'll start off with the advertised just for you sales that were going on. The Oscar Mayer Deli Meat, that was um, $1.99 the, for the six ounce package um, with a just for you coupon. And then the Pringles were 77 cents each with the just for you coupon. You do have to buy three to get them at that price. And then also the Signature Select um, like canned mostly canned products it was like canned vegetables tomatoes and beans um they were all uh, 49 cents and they were a limit of 12 you didn't have to buy 12 but i went ahead and took a, a advantage of the maximum of that because that's a pretty good price that's around aldi's price a lot of times um <clears throat> So I ended up getting two of each kind. I got the diced tomatoes with green chilies, regular diced tomatoes, um, kidney beans for like when we do chili, black beans, because I use these a lot of times just in my quesadillas, the garbanzo beans, which I use when I do like my avocado chickpea sort of salad, um, and then whole kernel corn, just regular whole kernel corn. So those were the advertised just for you, um, like sales that were going on. And then some of the other just regular like sales that were going on was the progressive soups were 99 cents each when you bought five so I ended up getting two of the regular chicken noodle soup one of the uh, light chicken and dumpling a lentil for myself and then my dad got a lasagna styled soup and then there was also a buy five and you saved like a dollar off of each item by five or more products so I don't even know how many I ended up picking up but it was definitely more than five so I got the sale price off of each of those um, but the General Mills rice check cereal was $1.99 after again the like sale um, and then the Quaker chewy bars were 99 cents each the Quaker cereal um, which we got two of the Captain Crunch and two of the life cereal were 99 cents each and then also these Quaker um, like these rice crisps sort of these were also 99 cents with a um, you know with this after the sale so we ended up picking up all of those and then the other advertised sale that was going on was on the Doritos those were 199 each when you bought three um, and I think the ruffles were included in maybe one other kind um, but we ended up picking up three packages of the Doritos the rest of the items except for the some of the produce um, which was the uh, blueberries were on sale for $1.99 for a 12-ounce package. Strawberries were on sale for $1.99. Oh, they also had raspberries and uh, blackberries, but they didn't have any more of those left at the store other than the organic kind, so I didn't end up picking up any of those. And then also the... Um, grapes the green grapes were on sale for 99 cents i got a little under two and a half pounds it was 232 um, and then also the organic whole white mushrooms were 150. Um, so those were the regular sale items everything else was like with a personalized just for you offer that can vary based on account but i did have a um 99 cents for any cantaloupe with the just for you offer and then i also ended up having um like i was saying the peanut butter i believe it was supposed to be on the natural peanut butter i picked up 
the just regular kind. Um, like I said, I think it was because my dad ended up not <laughs> reading it off. I was just like, oh yeah, we need peanut butter when we were in the, like the cereal aisle. That's where they had it. And I was like, oh, so we don't forget to come back later. Cause I thought, I think I put it further down on the list thinking it was like one later in the store. Cause that's normally how I do my lists. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I think I picked up the wrong kind on accident. Um, but that was supposed to be $1.99 with the 75 cent off coupon would have been $1.25, which again for the natural peanut butter had I gotten that kind, um, would have been really good. Then, um, the Minute Maid, um, this was specifically the vitamin C and zinc. This was on sale for $2. There was a dollar off coupon. So it was only a buck for, again, orange juice is really good. Um, and then the Fairlife uh, coffee creamer, this was also $2 on sale and there was a dollar off coupon making it $1. Um, my dad uses this all the time. And again, I don't think that's that bad for the 16 ounce because like at Aldi, normally their larger 32 ounce, which is double the size of that, um, is normally about $2.50, $2.99 sometimes. So I thought that was a really good deal. And then the, um, Gatorade, it was on sale for 49 cents with the personalized just for you offer a limit of one. Um, and then the signature select cereals, um, I just ended up getting again, similar to the rice checks because we can probably save like one box to do like puppy chow or something like that with, um, and then have like another, the other two boxes for eating. Cause my mom really does like to eat those. Um, but again, normally I like to do like puppy chow. Um, so I figured that was a good amount of that. And normally we only tend to see that stuff on sale really often, like normally around the holiday sales and stuff like that. Um, and then the Briar's ice cream was on sale for $3. So there was a dollar off coupon making it $2. This was completely free with a personalized just for you offer. Again, these med Medi wiper hand sanitizing wipes an 80 count. Um, they, this was a larger size this time they had on sale. So I think that was everything. I also did have a dollar off of two coupons on any General Mills cereal. So that did take off on here. So these were actually $1.49 each instead of $1.99, which is the sale price. But like I said, I did have that coupon as well. So that took off. So they were like $1.50. Um, so that was everything I ended up picking up at Jewel. So these were the items over on this side we ended up picking up from Aldi. We ended up getting some of the Halloween candy. My mom also has two bags, or two, got two bags from the dollar store. Um, so we might not need actually that much, but I was hoping that like Valley Produce and Caputo's would have their sales that they've normally had, like with the like Snickers bars or like $1.99 for like the smaller pack or whatever. And I have not seen them go on sale yet. Normally they have them like the week before Halloween and then also the week of Halloween. And again, I haven't seen them go on sale at all. So um, I don't know if they're going to have that sale. So it's like we might as well pick up a bag of candy. <laughs> so um, ended up picking up sour cream. That was $1.55. Also two I saw, which they normally don't have at my store. Like always. I don't know if they are just seasonal because sometimes I will see them. Um, like during like the holiday season sort of or whatever. But like in the summer, I never see these. And I'll be honest, I use my slow cooker more in the summer than I probably do in the winter just because I don't want to heat up the whole house and it's, you know, more energy efficient, I feel like, to use a slow cooker. Um, so I feel like sometimes that defeats the purpose of not having them available all, you know, year round or whatever. I'll do this a lot when we do French toast in the slow cooker, especially like during like Christmas or whatever, I'll normally do this. And it's a pain, a horrible pain to clean up. I love having these for that specifically. I'll other stuff I really don't mind cleaning up out of the slow cooker but like that is one of the messiest things because sometimes it will get a little crusty at the bottom and it's really hard to get off so like I said slow cookers liners are like a lifesaver especially for that kind of stuff um, if not I'll normally just wind up adding like a little bit of aluminum foil to something that I know might be a little bit tough to clean up because again I feel like it's a little bit more cost efficient maybe because these were like 155 for a four pack which isn't that bad again but um, certain things I feel like aren't as hard to clean up out of there or 159. And then we also ended up picking up the black bean burgers, which were 339, just because in case we wind up grilling again, which we might. And then hash browns were 399. And then um the bananas were 42 cents per pound. We got about two pounds, it was 87 cents. And then the big pack, like I said, of Halloween candy was 98 cents or $9.89. And then the hamburger buns were 79 cents. The weight, peanut butter wafers, $1.32. And purified water was uh, $2.49. Oh, or and also the sprouted whole grain bread was $2.99 as well. So again, the stuff we ended up picking up from um, 
from Aldi was just sort of fill in stuff that we needed. We also ended up picking up, I feel like this was a little excessive because we ended up buying so many and it seemed like we bought way too many of these. But um, I measured in my bedroom and the like the ones in the kitchen, like those windows back there, they're technically, I guess, like a double window because this won't fit. Maybe the ones in the kitchen will. So maybe I did buy one too many, but the ones in the, the, my bedroom and um, I guess mine is the only one with double windows. I have to technically buy two of these. So we ended up buying 12 of these in total, which like I said, doesn't seem like that much, but like we had maybe, there were maybe took about half of the ones they had in the store. Um, they had actually a ton, but like I said, I, I needed a lot of these to actually do all of our windows in the house. And we're not even planning really maybe on doing the ones in the kitchen or the living room until like, unless they maybe go on sale again, but we didn't buy enough unless like I said, the ones in like the, the, in here do only need one, but I measured in my bedroom and it definitely needed two for the size. So these were 99 cents though after rebate, which I thought was really good. So like I said, it was about 12 bucks and hopefully we'll save that in energy <laughs> um, from, you know, having to pay extra for heating and stuff like that because our windows, all the ones except for the ones in the living room are all original to the house. So they are very cold, very drafty. They're not double paned, but they are, um, there is a storm. But again, like you put your hand there and you could feel cold air coming in, especially like right now. Today it's really cold and rainy. Um, whereas the ones in the living room, you really can't feel that unless it's like one of those days where it's below zero. You probably can. The wind itself feels sort of cold but they're very good they're I think they're double paned and like insulated and everything like that the ones the rest of the house I don't think so and again maybe other than upstairs but those are original at least to when they put the expansion on like the they dormered it out up there so they are newer but they're still definitely old windows so we got that um we also ended up picking up a three pack so we won't need to get these for probably until like summertime maybe of next year because we do them every three months and we only need one for our um, furnace. So we got a three pack of those and we actually need to change them right now anyway. It's funny, we literally walked in and my dad goes, you know what, we should get the furnace, you know, the vents for the furnace, um, you know, the filters. And I was like, funny, that was on my list. So it was, I think 15 bucks, so they were like $5 each. So I didn't think that was too bad. I got a, I can't dig it out, a big pack of like eight pack of suet. I think it was $6 or something like that also after rebate. And then a $10 pack of like 40, two count batteries I think and we also ended up getting four or five more like storage totes because we've been organizing and cleaning out the attic so we need some of that too so again got all that that was like I think 70 or 80 bucks together at Menards but like I said like again the $12 or whatever it was pretty much for the insulation stuff I feel like will hopefully save us that money you know, like in the long run. And then also too, like the filters and stuff like that was all stuff that again, we sort of needed the bird stuff, the batteries. Um, so yeah, and the totes too, which are normally about $5 each. And honestly, maybe we need like, cause we bought so far, this will be the 15th <laughs> that we bought. We've been buying them in fives every week. It's normally about like 25 to 30 bucks um, for those. And so, like I said, it's, I feel like, like been worth it because we've been getting all the attic organized too and maybe we only need another five because now that we've been cleaning stuff out of bins that we already have in the attic like now we can reuse the ones that just had stuff that we've been having to organize out into the boxes so i feel like like i said eventually we won't need to get any more because we'll just have excess boxes and bins and stuff like that and totes that we can then put stuff in that again we've been organizing so um and ones that are being put into the bins that already have like you know like if there's books and stuffed animals in one box then we can just sort those out to the boxes that we already have stuffed animals and separately in books in a different bin or whatever um so like i said and then we'll have an extra bin left over so anyways <laughs> i'm gonna get this stuff put away thought i'd just share that with you guys and then valley produce and caputos we should be able to go to tomorrow um because we don't have football it's over now which is kind of sad but um yeah <laughs> so i'll share that with you guys in tomorrow's vlog well guys i'm gonna take a shower and get to bed um we ended up getting more of that stuff in the attic taken care of which has been awesome we took two bags and something else two big like contractor bags to goodwill plus i thought we took a box of something or something like that to goodwill this morning before we went out to the grocery stores um and we filled up another one already of stuff to like donate plus i think we've gotten rid of like 
two um things of or well no one whole thing of recycling a whole bag of recycling i think a whole bag of garbage <laughs> um out of the attic on top of all of that too so um yeah we like i said have been definitely cleaning out the attic which is awesome so um and like have really been going through stuff and not really like saving a lot of like you know just like oh yeah we kind of want this thing or whatever like we've been really going through and sort of purging this stuff but we found one thing that my mom has been dying to find in the attic which was actually some old like letters and genealogy stuff actually my great grandparents um and so my mom is like it is up there somewhere I know it is and she is like freaking out like you know that she like misplaced or something like that and because we've been going through and cleaning so much up already that she's like I just don't know where they are and finally today I was like I pulled it open and I was like I think I found it <laughs> and um she was like no way and so yeah it was pretty crazy it was pretty cool so anyways we ended up like i said going through all that stuff in the attic watched the bears game the hawks game both insanely disappointing games honestly guys i am like the hawks like i'm still hoping that they will do better like i don't know why they're not doing well at all right now um like honestly it really feels like it's their offense that like can't score like it's not even to me I don't know it doesn't like my dad's like oh it's the defense like I feel like it sort of is but at the same time too it just seems to me like they have not been able to score like goals at all so yeah that and then I feel like the Bears are just going to keep having the exact same problems that they're having to me right now the Hawks are sort of like I just don't really understand like what's going on so yeah there's that <laughs> but I'm most looking forward to I guess the Bulls for right now um because they're i think in like first place pretty much in the nba because i think that they i don't know after today but i think as of this morning um they were i think the first team to that were 0 three and um they i don't know if that was in the whole nba but i thought it was um or if not at least in like i think their conference maybe um or division or something like that but yeah they're doing really good and i wasn't totally expecting that like already this season like I was sort of expecting a little bit more of a rebuild like maybe another year or two but with the players they have like and they're able to look what looks like turn it around like you know compared to last year where they didn't even make the playoffs I was like this is looking optimistic but yeah so watch some <laughs> crummy sports games today and then like all the other stuff that was on like the Sunday night football game I don't really care about um so yeah but like I said we got through a bunch of stuff in the attic so I wasn't really paying attention hardly to most of the sports just because I was cleaning most of the day the afternoon and stuff like that and it's been raining like torrential rainfall guys and on top of that too it is so windy it is like like heavy heavy winds outside um like and it's been like that all day today like jack actually went to go take the recycling out and like i opened the door for him and like the door blew open because of how like windy it's been um like and like watching like all of the like trees outside too i mean they were like swaying like crazy in the breeze well not even breeze in the wind outside because it is like crazy out there so yeah anyways i'm gonna take a shower and get to bed i'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe, and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So, bye guys.